Hey everybody, it's Comp Help here. Thank you for watching this video. And this video is actually going to be a little bit different than the rest of my tutorials. It's kind of a, an experiment in itself. Okay, so this right here, uh, what you're about to see, is some footage of me kind of dancing around. Um, mind you, this video is not supposed to be uploaded. It it was more of a test for myself to see my um, how I would go about editing something like this. Um, I've seen some other people do it before, but I was like, hey, how, how would I do this, you know? It's pretty much me l lining up with future frames of myself, and uh, I know it's not the best quality because my camera is not very good. As you can see, like, you see the blurs and everything. But, I mean, hey, you know, let's go ahead and dig into how to do this. All right, so this is a quick rundown. See how everything's moving super quick? It's me pretty much running through, editing this thing, really super fast. So what I'm doing right here is I opened up my video in Sony Vegas and I'm going through the video and finding what frames I think are main poses or funny poses or whatever and what I'm doing is I'm pausing, splitting the video and saving the uh, that frame. I go up there kinda to the upper right and there's a save icon and I just click that and what it does is it makes a an image and it saves that frame for me so it's like that frame becomes a picture or a JPEG or whatever it saves it as and so I'm just going over and I'm splitting each part this way I split it so I'll be sure I'll know I know exactly where I got that clip from and it makes editing in the future a lot easier so anyways I just go and grab what like seven shots and we're ready to rock and I open up Adobe Photoshop here so I start dragging each picture one by one, and what I do right here is uh, I start, I start kind of, um, what, what would you say, extract myself from each photo from the background. Um, I try to make the background a transparent background. This way, I add that on top of the video file in Sony Vegas, and it's pretty much rinse and repeat from there. So I try this with the pen really quick, and I'm like, you know what? There's an easier way to go about this, you know. So pen fail really quick especially because I fell at using the pen tool. And there you go, I use the quick selection tool, and I just go and I start deselecting whatever's not on me, and you know, all the little spaces and everything, like right there. And I pretty much go to refine image or refine selection, and turn on smart radius or whatever that is. And uh, you know, I go and, and intensify it there, and, and apply some smooth, and you know, I just kind of make the selection a little bit better, so. You know, I don't know, it's, that's, this is very quick. Again, I didn't really mean to upload this video. It was more of a test for myself. But, um, yeah, so the selections aren't, like, the best or anything. Of course, uh, there's a few things you would change if you're going to do this project yourself. First of all, you would have a clean room. Um, I apologize for that. Um, it's a long story of why all that junk is in there. And, you know, it's just totally unprofessional. But whatever. Um... Also, you would not want a mirror in the background because that kind of gives away the effect, you know. Um, then you'd have to go and select your mirror image, which I did not do, um, just to give it like a nice effect. Uh, and if you, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, you'd have to mess around with it. Anyways, um, you'd also want a better camera angle. See that chair that's right there in the front? You wouldn't want to do something like that. Um, you would want things to look neat and clean and, you know. So anyways... This isn't the best video to use, but, uh, whatever. Anyways, so all I'm doing is I'm going through each of those saved frames, and I'm selecting myself, as you can see right there, and I'm going to uh, Refine Edge, Refine Edge, and I go, turn that up a bit, turn this up a bit, and right there I select Save to a New Layer. This way I make myself a new layer with only me on it, and then all I do is I... In, in more in the video, I start just saving each of those as a PSD because I can add PSDs in Sony Vegas and it's just faster to save for me. So there you go, it's just me working here. Um, right here, I decided to just drop all the, the rest of the images in instead of loading them in one by one. So check it out. Um, yeah. There I go. So, anyways, I don't know what to really talk about. I've never done a tutorial like this. I think it's pretty interesting. Um, I've seen people actually do really quick tutorials like this before, but they don't do any commentary, you know, and I thought, hey, why not try a commentary on it? Maybe it'll be easier. Maybe my viewers will understand more what I'm doing in this video. Uh, it's very basic what I'm doing, very basic uh, Sony Vegas and Photoshop skills needed to do something like this. Um, yeah, I'm using Photoshop CS5, and that is why I have the refine edge option. It's right here. So... Anyways, here we go. See, I just saved that picture as a PSD, and I opened up my next frame. 
probably my next main uh, pose. See, that's me acting goofy in this video. So enjoy that. <laughs> okay. Great. Fine edge. Save that image. We are now on frame six. All right. So let me know if uh, maybe you're interested in learning some more things like this. I don't know what I'd do it on, but uh, maybe Photoshop can. I can do a Photoshop video on this or something. It looks something like that, where it's like super fast and me just kind of going over. But uh, if it's like a super detailed Photoshop video, of course I'd have to slow down and go over the details. Uh, if you guys need me to, I don't know if it's completely necessary, if it's hard to follow along in this video, because you can pause and go full screen and read everything. But if you need me to, what you can actually do is uh, write in the comments below, say, hey Jerry, can you very quickly go over this more in detail of what you're doing? Um, this way, you know, I'll, I'll know how to do this. But anyways, uh, all I'm doing here is I'm applying the mainframes, those pictures, I'm just plopping them over those where they belong, okay? And they're on the top layer, this way they appear over the bottom one, and uh, that video plays over the bottom. I just said that. Anyways, I kind of shorten it long, long enough, and then I add a transition, so they kind of appear, and they don't just kind of, you know, just appear randomly. Um, as you saw, there's like a transition. Anyways, so, there's me dancing, like a, well, I'm not going to say that, but just dancing like a, like an idiot. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the last frame and right here just watch the whole video over always when I edit my videos watch it always over and make the last second last minute changes here had to cut the video some there we go great and okay I think the video is pretty much finished what am I doing here there we go and I render the video out save it and now my video is rendering and I open up the internet on my other dual screen so I can have a little bit of fun while this is rendering out. And there we go, the video's finished. So right now I'll go ahead and play the video for you guys and you can watch the final product again. So thank you for watching this video. Please rate, actually thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I still don't have that rate thing down. And also check out a few links really quick. Check out my Twitter account by going to twitter.com slash comphelp. Check out my vlog channel where I make vlog videos almost every day by going to youtube.com slash vvphonevv. Check out my gaming channel where I play some video games for you guys, capture some gameplay uh, footage for you guys by going to youtube.com slash jerrygames. And if you, by any chance, are interested in making some extra money online like I do, check out cashcrate.biz. All links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Again, remember to please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.